What is up, YouTube? My name is Dope Dev, and today I have a tutorial for you all on how to make a README generator. So, probably the reason you're here is because this was required in your class, and you have this due soon, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. But that's why I'm here. I'm here to help you just look over this code, see how it works. You know, we're going to create a README, and I'm going to submit it. Um, and yeah, hopefully, you know, this helps you out. What I'll do is I'll leave a link to my repository in the description so that when you're done with the project, you can just, you know, compare your code with mine, see if you got it right. I really don't recommend that you copy me because you won't understand how it works, but you know, do what you got to do. Um, without further ado, please, if this helps you out, hit that subscribe button, hit the like and follow me on GitHub because you know, it's kind of cool to have some followers on GitHub and you know, I have some open source projects that I'll probably have open soon. So come and help out, you know, share some of your coding knowledge with me and let's get connected, you know? So without further ado, let me show you how this works. So we're going to go to the top of my index.js file, which is basically the main file that we're dealing with. This is like, you know, home essentially. And uh, first let's get these out of the way. So these are what is required for everything to work. Um, these are what the packages are. So first we have our file system in place. This is just a node uh, module that deals with files. And this is a basic right here. So anytime you're like switching files over, you want to use file system. Uh, now we have Const Inquire. Inquire is this like special software that you got to download from NPM. So first you do like NPM init, oh, init like that. It'll create a package.json, which is this thing. And then after that, you do NPM install Inquirer. Oh, Inquirer. And this will give you the latest version. Uh, if you need a specific version, for me, it was 8.2.4. You just do the little at symbol and then the version. Then you hit enter. It looks like your computer is getting hacked. There's all these colors, all, all that kind of stuff. But then, you know, you get, well, first you get this package lock.json. Then you get like the node modules folder, which is like this big, massive folder. You're not going to include this or this on your repository later. So you put them in a git ignore here. Um, and then maybe a DS store. You got a Mac. I have a Windows, so I don't have that. Um, but then in your package.json, you'll see, look right here, that your dependencies are Inquirer and the version 8.2.4, which is the one that I downloaded. So, uh, yeah, whatever version you download, it's going to display it there. So that's how you know it's installed. So let's go on to the other ones. Const path is basically um taking these responses and putting them into the generate markdown.js and this is how i'm going to make my readme later and then this is basically pulling whatever i'm making here back to index.js so and these are just my questions and this is like um you know how i basically once these are done then you know these should be kind of switched around, but whatever. So after after the responses are done, as you see, once these are done, then it loads, it makes a readme file, and then it writes the file, and then it calls this function, write to file, file name data, and this will go into, uh, you know, a dist folder, which is basically just like from the module, like everything that you're done. It's like a final product folder of sorts. So let's just like kind of do a walkthrough now. Also, I gotta show you the markdown generate or generate generate markdown.js. Uh, these are just rendering license badges, rendering license. These are all just like little GIFs, you know? And then this is my uh, markdown or my readme template. And I use the little back ticks with the dollar sign curly braces to indicate the variables that I'm using. So uh, you'll see, yeah, basically you got title, and then, 
you know, you got all this here. Description, license, require. So you see, okay, like if I use all of these, then, you know, it goes in. You see, dot usage, dot creator, dot contributor. So see how it all lines up. So this name is going to basically like link into your variables and then you just pass the parameter. In this case, you use data. So that's how it all works. Again, I'll leave my code in the description in case you're confused. You can just look over it as fast or as slow as you like. So let's do a little walkthrough. I'm gonna make, actually what I'm gonna do is make a readme that I'm just gonna push to my GitHub and submit this myself. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so first, I did this wrong last time. So let me make sure I do it right. So if, I, if, I, if I'm doing this right, I just do node index.js. What I'm doing is I'm saying node, hey, read this file index. And it's going to, if everything's linked up here, especially, it's going to start reading me the questions. Let's see if it does it. Okay, please name your project. So for me, this is a uh, read me generator. Okay, great. Then please describe the purpose and functionality of this project. This uh, read me generator was created by using node JS and inquire and an, or an NPM product. Let's just say, uh, this app automatically generates professional readmes. I know you can't see it. Boom. Great. So now I can do a little MIT. MIT basically means everybody can use this like a fair use. So I'm just going to put that and then I'm going to hit enter. If you want to select other ones, for example, or none, um, then you just, you can hit space, 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 whatever. And, uh, you can hit space to deselect them too. But since I just want MIT, I'm going to hit enter. Boom. All right. So list any project dependencies here. So let's remember the dependencies are here. So for me, I need inquire and I'm going to be specific and say, uh, inquire. I can't spell that. Wow. Eight. 0.2.4. I'm going to say or later because I don't know. They might work on a later version. So I'm going to use that. Boom. Okay. So state languages or technologies associated with this project. Um, we definitely just used a set. Well, we're using Markdown, which is a language. Kind of. We're using JavaScript. And Node. Dot node. Uh, let's just say node. You can say node.js. Node is just sounds pretty cool. So I'm going to say that. And uh, yeah. And then JSON, of course. You want to include as many languages as possible because the more languages, the more swag you got on your application. So there you go. This is as much as I can think of right now. So we're going to put that boom. Write your GitHub username. It is Dopecello. And state your full name. Do I want to dox myself right now? I guess so. William Locke. Boom. Provide valid email address. Now, ugh, I'm going to say uh, look me up at gmail.com. So I don't want to dox myself. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Please list any contributors. So none. I'm going to say NA. That's actually more formal. Then provide walkthrough of required tests if applicable. Uh, you can just say like NPM tests if you want. Um, you don't really need any tests really. So eh, I just say like NA. You don't really need to test anything. So boom. See, okay. So now I created the professional readme file. 
and look, so uh then it goes in the disk folder. You see, it went right into my disk folder because I told it to. When it wrote the file, I said, hey, put it in this folder and call it this. I could call it like dog.md or something like that. Or what you can do is say, um, for example, if you wanted to use this app for one of your projects that's not this, you can just uh, read MD and you can say then the project name and it will just name it for you automatically. So look at this. So now I have, you know, my readme. Actually, I think I can preview this. So um, can I preview this? Reveal and file explorer, explorer view. How do I do it? Open preview. There it is. Okay, great. So look, so I have the readme generator by William Log and it has the MIT license thing and it has a working table of contents. So if I want to see contributors, it goes to NA testing, whatever. It's not really that long, but if they're longer, this is definitely very helpful. So keep this um description requirements usage contact me it's very formal and look at that you have yourself a readme so what i will do then is if i want to push this for example i'm going to push a lot of my stuff so i'm going to go get status Okay, so I deleted this one thing, and then uh, I have a disk folder that's untracked. So what I want to do is add, in this case, I'm just going to add the whole folder. But if you wanted a specific, like say more than one uh, readme in your disk folder, you'd want to be specific and do like the relative path to that MD or readme.md. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do get add dist just to make sure I get my um, readme there. And then I'm just going to go get add dot mostly because I'm lazy, but also I want to make sure that I deleted another readme that I used. I'm updating my index.js and I'm updating. I did some like stuff with the comments in generate markdown. So I know that. So get add dot. Then I'm going to say git commit slash m or dash m. I'm going to say created a uh, professional readme for this project. Boom. And honestly, the other stuff, it wouldn't be applicable, but you know, I'm just trying to turn this in. So it's fine. It's going to be fine for what it is. Okay, so I committed it. Now I do git push origin main. Type in my super secret passcode. And boom, there it is. This push to GitHub. So, like I said, hit the subscribe button if this helped you. Give it a like so that other developers like you can see this video. And uh, if you really like this video and want to see more of my content or want to contribute on some of my projects, Follow me on GitHub, reach out, say hi. Um, and yeah, hopefully you have a great night and happy coding. See you later.